Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In this session, we'll be looking at the management of tax period in the NetSuite application. We'll see that how can we assign the tax uh, fiscal calendar to any subsidiary and then how can we set the tax period uh, based on month, quarter or a year. So let's begin. So if we talk about NetSuite, so there uh, NetSuite has two types of period that is the accounting period and tax period. If we talk about the accounting period, so the, these periods are, are used, these accounting periods are used for the purpose of financial and management accounting. And uh, the other uh, tax period that we have is the, the, the other period that we have is tax period. So these are used uh, for VAT and GST reporting and then submission of those uh, reports in the uh, country. So these are the two uh, types of periods that are used into the net suite. So we all are we all are aware of the accounting period. So our today's topic is tax period. So a tax period is a period of time over which a company tracks tax. Uh, we can run a monthly, quarterly, or annual VAT or GST reports in net suite. So there are uh, various scenarios in which the uh, tax periods are not used. So uh, let me show you what uh, what additions are use uh, tax period and what uh, additions do not use tax period. So the US and Canada additions do not use tax period. They mainly uh, work on the simple accounting period. And if we talk about the uh, additions that use tax period, so these are Australia, Japan, UK international editions are the ones that use the tax period. So this is about the basics. So moving on to the NetSuite application uh, for managing a tax period, the first thing that we have to do is we have to uh, assign a tax fiscal calendar to a subsidiary. So for that, we have to go into the subsidiary record setup company. Yes. We'll go into the subsidiary record. We can take this America here. I'll click on view. Edit. So here we can see all the information is given here. You can see that uh, as I have told you that NetSuite uses two uh, periods that is for uh, one is for accounting and the other is for tax purpose. So the accounting calendar, uh, the fiscal calendar that is selected here is standard fiscal calendar. And uh, if it if it has not assigned any fiscal tax fiscal calendar to the subsidiary America, so we can uh, assign from this drop down or we can change if we want to uh, change the tax fiscal calendar from here. So in this manner, and we can click on save. So in this manner, we can assign a, a tax fiscal calendar to a subsidiary. Now we'll move uh, towards the other step where how can uh, where we will know how can we set up a tax period so for that we'll go into setup accounting so under the taxes uh, sublist we have this option of manage tax period you can see that the period that is here is fiscal year 2022 just as we do in the accounting period we can set up a full year or we can set up new year only it just set up full year uh, it will uh, set up the whole year that consists of quarters and months also if we take new year only so it will only uh, set up a, a year only and if we want to set quarters also so we can set quarter and this pay, base period is concerned with setting up the months for the year so if i click on this set up full year So here we have to define the calendar that uh, we want this uh, fiscal year to be used. We can have these options. We can change it if we want to. Here we have to mention the fiscal year on which it has to be ended. So I am taking here this 2023. Under the period format, we have calendar months. 
so these calendar months are uh, for if we are taking the 12 period so we can uh, take the calendar months if we want to select quarter so we can take uh, quarters op option also four weeks uh, so if we take four weeks so this set up 13 periods each for every four weeks in the fiscal year it will take 13 periods so along with, with that we have other options also so uh, from that i am taking this calendar month and as we all know that the month that uh, would be starting with is January. So here you can see that the fiscal year 20, uh, since I have set up a full year, so you can see that the fiscal year 2023 has been set up over here. It consists of all the quarters and base periods are also here. The starting date and the ending date is also given. It is uh, from January 2023 to uh, December 2023. So we can also uh, set a new year only. It will not be having any quarters and all. So, so the be best option is uh, we can uh, set up a full year for the purpose of tax also. Along with that, with this uh, small arrow over here, we can also set up a new quarter or base period if we have opted this new year only. So we have to mention, we have to set up the quarters and along with that, we can also set a, a base period that consists of months also. So in this way, we can set up our uh, tax period. And at certain point of time, if we want to make any edit or if we want to change the period from posting to non-posting, so we can do this uh, with the help of edit option. So we have open, we have seen how the tax period is open, how it can be changed for the purpose. Uh, if it does not have any transactions, so we can change its status from posting to non-posting. Along with that, how the uh, tax period can be closed. So closing tax period closes all the uh, prior tax periods. So the tax period should be closed. Uh, and the purpose of this closure is we have to run the reports. For the purpose of running the reports, we have to uh, close the tax period. So you can see if we see uh, the fiscal year 2022, so you can see these logs, these are indications that till the month of June 2022, the period has been closed. But for the month of uh, uh, July that it is still open, this icon is an indication that the uh, tax period is still open. So I will click on this icon. You can see the status shown here is open. These are all the subsidies. I will mark it all. And now I will submit. So now you can see that the uh, period tax period that is for the month of July 2022 has now been closed. So in this manner, we can close the tax period if uh, it does not have any transaction and we are done with all the auditing and all and we want to run the reports. So for this purpose, we have to uh, close the uh, tax period just as we do in the normal uh, accounting period. So this is all about uh, the managing accounting period. First, we have to assign the tax fiscal calendar to the subsidiary. Then we can set up uh, our uh, tax reporting period. We can either set up a full year or we can set up a new year and if we are setting a new year we have opted the new year option so we have to set certain quarters and base periods for it so that's all about the management of tax period in case of any doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you